in fact, uh, this thing called working from home, some of you have heard of it. I don't know if some of you have tried it. Maybe I have an assignment for it's one of the things that I'm, uh, people are taking up right now. Who are putting me working from home? I earn dollars. When you are there, you a pop up. Hmm? Movie alert. <laughs> Greyman. New release. Hey, because I'm a new one. Red notice. Red notice. Red notice. Red notice. Red notice. There is so much distraction. Because of the bad one we are online classes, you see, because of from COVID, online classes will answer. So what happens? People to a video, not a video, I love not a sound. So apparently from the police put a sound. So my hands, my wrist, they touch. So there was a sound of the So there was a sound of the checker. And it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't already have a video. In <laughs> covering the topic they want to share today, uh, the time factor. The time factor is the topic they're going to share today, and I believe God is going to bless us. And um, the, the, the scripture that will guide us will have two main scriptures, but the main scripture, Psalms, uh, the verse that will guide us is Psalms 90, Psalms 90, verse 12. And I want to say uh, I'm grateful. Uh, to Pastor David for allowing me to be here uh, and for the great job that he has done. I've had a hectic couple of uh, weeks, so I'm glad to be back here. So God is faithful uh, to be here. For anyone who is new, my name is Chege. Yes, <laughs> Christ is Lord over my life, and me and my house we shall serve the Lord. So the time factor. And so Psalms 90 verses 12, and this is what the Bible says, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. I can say that again, that teach us how to number our days that we may obtain a heart of wisdom. So when we look uh, about the issue of time, the psalmist here is writing and saying that teach me to number my days. Because this is a person who has sat down and realized that they are mortal. That maybe their existence is a blessing and it is limited. So he comes to himself and tells himself, wait a minute, maybe I don't have forever to do what I need to do. And so the time factor to this psalmist and David is uh, supposed to be the person who wrote the Psalms. It is seen uh, in this scripture that he looks at his life and says, God, that I may gain wisdom, I need to know my things. And so when you know the time that you have, you use time carefully. Nobody knows the use of time well, like from fours. Because a from four will tell you, by the time you're from one, you're thinking from four is forever, I have all the time. From one kilometer, you have to A. By the time you're from three, you have to go to A. You have to go to A. You have to go to A. That's a talent in the world. People in from one are doctors. By the time you're from one, a patient, my goodness me. Yeah? In the class, from one, you are full of optimism. Yeah? But if you're able to number the time that you have in Form 1 as you're going along, by the time in Form 4, you know your time. And so the time factor. And one of the things about time is that time is a system. And I want to give you a secret today, and anyone who will understand this today will know that if you put systems in your life and in what you do, it will outlive you. And that's why a wise man said that the best way to live life is living on something that will outlive your life, that will outlive you. Live for something that is beyond you, that you're not just living at all, but you're living for a cause to touch people's lives, to change things, to innovate, and all these amazing things. Where are we saying time is a system? Now, time is a system because Every how many seconds make a minute? 
60 seconds, right? And every how many minutes make an hour? Uh -huh. And so, and how many hours make a day? 24. And how many days make, uh, how many uh, days make a year? 365. And uh, which is 364 and uh, what? So what does that mean? When you start creating systems in your life, what is a system? It is a culture. It starts to impede upon you and it starts to bring results. What does that mean? Whatever thing you want to achieve might look big and might look great, might look like it is impossible. But the moment you begin a step at a time, it gets bigger and better and becomes clearer. I want to quote Mark Zuckerberg who says, Mark Zuckerberg, some of us and most of us know that he's the founder of Facebook. And some of you may know, he began it with his friends at his college university as he was studying. And some of his software engineering people, they just brainstorm on an app that they could come together and bring a, a social space together. And as it started, nobody believed it would be a big thing. But over time, people joined. And Mark Zuckerberg says that no idea comes out fully formed. But ideas, when you begin them, they shape themselves. What does that mean? Sometimes the biggest thing you'll find in your life, that before you, you, you're able to make steps, you have to decide which direction you're going and then begin. And so right now, if I, if I want to start a journey and I want to go towards thicker, if I take the route and go to the opposite direction towards Limuru, eh, chances are I'll never make it. But if I just walk, even if I'm walking towards Thika, eventually I'll get there. In fact, there has been this, when we have these major events, I remember like uh, Ita Mia Hasla, all these things. There's someone who walked from uh, Eldoret, Miku, all the way to Karen, where by then our president was the deputy president, to make a statement that is a true hustler. All right? By foot, and many people have done, you know, all these kind of walks. There's someone who, someone who I know who cycled from uh, Nairobi, Kenya, all the way to South Africa. He was trying to mobilize funds. Uh, and he cycled to all the borders, all the way to South Africa. Why? Because you can achieve anything, but you have first to see where you want to go, how will I go there? But I want us to go to a different dimension that you might not see or you might not imagine. And if you're with me, you can go, if you have your Bible, to Luke chapter 23. And I want us to look at time on a very different spectrum and on a, now, on a godly way, how time works and how your life needs to be meaningful. And so Luke chapter 23, we start from verse 32 there. Luke 23, we start from verse 32. And it says, Two other men, both criminals, were also uh, led out to him to be executed. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him there, along with the criminals, on the right, the other one on the left. Jesus said, Forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. But that fine. The people stood watching, and the rulers even sneered at him. They said, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is God's Messiah and the chosen one. Verse 36. The soldiers also came up and mocked him. They offered him with wine vinegar and said, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Verse 38. There was a written notice above him which read, this is the king of the Jews. All right. And so verse 38, one of the criminals who hung there had been told at him, and until the Messiah, save yourself and us. So we have a situation here where we have a Jesus, the story that most of us know. After Jesus is beaten up and his time has come to die. Remember by the time Jesus came on earth, he was on one mission. He was to come here and die for the sins of men, to save men back 
and to restore them back to God. So that was the that was the deal. That was his work. But now the time had come for that specific task to happen. And I want you just to reflect right now. The day you were born as Jesus was born. And you remember when during the carols that time, we, we, we talk about the Jesus story and how the wise men and, and the men who followed the stars to where Jesus was born and they brought gifts. All these stories we hear them. And as we reflect about the, 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 the great story of Jesus, I want you now to relate it upon yourself. There's something Pastor David we, we, we call interpretation. They call it hermeneutics. Um, interpretation says you take a context in the Bible, you now uh, interpret it. What does it mean to me? Because these were people like us who are in the Bible. They are characters in the Bible. And now these people, whatever is happening to them, you know, relates to who we are connected to God. So you ask yourself, if these people were doing this and God reacted with them in this way, what about me? So when you look about the story of Jesus and his birth and his time now coming, that is on the cross now, about to be crucified. So the time for the day is not an accident. It is God was allowing it to be. Mungo mehu ame ame because he has a great plan for you. And so, so there we have no doubt. God knows you. Despite what you've gone through, despite the challenges, despite everything, God knows you. And not only knowing you, he has an assignment for you. But I want you to see, when your time will come, at the end of your time, come on, you go engineer. Oh, they can as a express engineer, uh, Eldoret, all the way maybe to Kakamega. That was your assignment. And maybe another two roads in the country, maybe East Africa or Africa. If you're to be an architect, come up with these drawings. If you're to be this singer who will sing, they say some of these songs that we sing have a very, very deep, you know, meaning behind them. And so some of the songs that we sing, when you look, look at the story, the, the story is so deep. I was looking at one of the great artists who sang, and his song um, it, it reflects about he, he, the, the, the inspiration was the journey with the father. The father was a violent man. He was he was a tough man. But over time, uh, he was able. Uh, God was able to touch the father, and the father turned around. And by the time the father died, he died of cancer. He had repented and they had already reconciled. And he came up and sang a song that touched the whole world. And, and I think I'll send that link to the uh, youth of WhatsApp group. And you will see uh, how beautiful your story and your scars can impact the world. Today, millions of people have been impacted. What is that thing in your life that God made you to do? But I want you to see this. The time has come for Jesus to accomplish his assignment and to do what uh, uh, his work had come for him to, to, to do. But now, there is someone who was not able to realize. And that's why he's saying, the time factor, give me wisdom to realize what time is the best. Timing is key. Timing is important to know when do I do it, when should I not do it. Because if you miss the time, you miss your life. So this one thief on the cross does not realize that the timing is a historic time. Because from what Jesus did up to date, right now we have millions of people congregated all over the world for this single man, Jesus. He is proclaimed to be infamously the most influential man and most popular man. Because what he did was such a landmine, it was such a historic thing from that very one moment. And I want to be clear right now, may God help you to reach that one moment that many people will celebrate you and be happy for what God has done in your life. May God reach you to that moment where your descendants will say, what? Dad, huka, alifanya hii. 
alitengeneza ali, ali prayer center ali ali alifanya kazi kubwa you know he is the owner of a gas company he is the owner of this industry may god lead you to that timing and when you're in that timing give you the ability and the awareness man say in it time yeah and when you're doing something in your time you, you, you do it right you do it well but i want to tell you something sometimes there is a waiting period and, and god will always take you through a wilderness and what the wilderness does is to test your time and to test your heart sorry so sometimes you go through a season and anybody will tell you there is a season of dryness in whatever career when you are maybe um shule or my from the from four when you go to a time you go to a boy to a bitab when you go to a milish or you go to a bitab when you go to a bitab i think it's a milish yeah ndani <laughs> when you finish university you're like kamaliza lini kusoma when you're done and then there's another period now to build your career to build your brand that's another season oh na kale kuna mtu anaona ni watu wanaomoka sasa unapata mtu wako 21 ana drive sijui nini hapo audi latest version uko like bitcoin ndio weka acha bude simeshe ni show forex ni show hizi vitu yeah and everybody and you know the craziest thing some of these online uh, you need to be careful i think it's anything investment because one of the things and the realities and some of you in business know this one of the things about business is there there is a risk come on yeah so the problem is oh no that's you fly here from oka that's the man me and no people i know you heard of a story someone who the mom was working in a foreign country and at mado do they think about 2 million eh say i'm not here you do well masikio you do well bro in africa six hell within six months and for that one ah na jo mama juzi to the online can you imagine a whole two billion shillings show ile kunya maji to to well and and that's why before you run to do something ask yourself am i doing this thing in my timing and in what i believe i'm good at one thing i'll assure you for free no blessing is the same like the other persons mm. you can be inspired yes but be yourself am i right you do you be you and more than that when jesus was leaving jesus said that i will send you a helper i will not leave you as orphans and the law will be written where you know what knows the the law will be written where in your heart what does that mean that you don't need i don't need to walk with a scroll now i'm here do not kill do not murder in your heart you already know what is right and what is wrong that's why you don't need anybody to come and tell you will kosea unaweza fanya mtu kitu unaenda hata umetulia unajua what i did not do the right thing because the law is in your heart and that's why god will guide you there is always a peace when something is godly so i want you to start walking and knowing is god in this thing does god want me to do this thing one of the biggest things i've learned i walked with god and, and you know the more you walk with god the more he becomes a mystery because god is bigger than us and so over the time kuna zile time mtu umesikia plan b na jambia lazima ni kuna kampango hapo hivi atakawa na pata mungu bado akwanza na sikia mungu anasaidia ka and this is my question wo wo metembe hivi eh and then one come back and say hey nini wangali upate kitu tiki kwa barabara eh ah how many will go to the nearest chief and say chief amu da the ada chief said that that so see after that 
Dia ni kau biasa lagi saya dia ni. Ya, ya tu lah. Ya, so 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 all this we we are faced with all these things every single day. But, but I want to say this: that this one thief did not realize the timing was there, and that's why when you start to realize the timing of God, you start to um, appreciate life. Why? Any elder person will tell you. If I could be a youth, I could do so many things. Why? Because they realize, come and being a youth is a blessing. Why? As a youth, you have time to learn many things. You can do many things. But one thing I appreciate, age is just a what? A number. Why? Me and those people who have gone to school, who have that 60 years, diploma, as we speak right now, taking their PhD, I will not let at because I'm older. So, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say that. 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 And you will see, by the way, what the other thief did. But I want you to say this. Sometimes, do we recognize when people get to their timing? One of the most amazing leaders that we have in this country that was there that we had was a man called Tom Boyer. And Tom Boyer came up with uh, Moen Kibaki, the former president. By then they were young guys. Some of you who have heard of Tom Boyer, he was a proficient guy. Tom Boyer would speak proficiently and amazingly. He was one of the top princes in this country. All of those people you listen to and you're like, wow, my goodness, brilliant man. By the way, someone like Kibaki, it's the accident that slowed him down. Kibaki was a brilliant economist. Some of you just go to YouTube check Kibaki speeches Kitambo. I used to speak. I mean, just sit remember that he's like, well, yeah, fellow Kenyans, where when you watch, I want to say some things to come watch. Yeah, when you check our video, then you want to understand, yeah, because that is the man you came to know. But he was a brilliant guy, Kibaki. Because he had an accident right before 202 when he was put into power. So they came up together, they came up with something called the Session Paper 10. The Session Paper 10 was an economic blueprint to guide, uh, according to uh, the social, uh, social uh, status of the country and the populace of the, of the country, how uh, the social economic fabric could work. And they put it together. And that is what that bore over the years, the Vision 2030. And the Vision 2030 is one of the things that has brought, you see, Isma by Bazote to Nona Zigoku. This was, it, it's a product of the Vision 2030. The Eastern Bypass, Southern Bypass, Northern Bypass, all these bypasses, they may talk from that. So you can imagine people who came up with the mind to know that this would help us in the next 100 years. May God give us ideas that will help our generation for the next hundred years. Amen. Hallelujah. That God can use us, use you. And by the way, start small. Don't fear. They say when you have a big dream, start small with what you have. And then God will now guide you step by step, send helpers, and show you where you need to go. And so, there are people, instead of seeing that he's a man who's moving in his timing, and is about to shape and to build this country, some of them saw a threat. And this same Tom Boyer, even before reaching 40 years, was murdered. And I can tell you for free, this would have been one of the greatest revolutionaries in this country. But we want to thank God that even what he did, still we have benefited from. And that's why I'm saying, what a big challenge that even us, we can say, I'm not too young to change people's life and to become a blessing. Now, verse 39. And so, the, the, the number one thing from the, the one we've read from that, that age, if you're writing correct, A is blinded, being blinded. Then B, now verse 39 to 42. So, Luke 23, 39 to 42. Listen to this. One of the criminals who hung their hugging songs, aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God is saying, since you are under the same sentence, we are punished justly. 
For we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Verse 42. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And that's why if you're writing that part, verse 39 to 42, you can say it's the bold move. The bold move. The bold move. And so, one of the greatest things is that this guy made a step. He realized, wait a minute, this man, he's not even, he has not seen for him to be here. He had a crucified he realized this man is on a greater mission. See, mission here you go up to Peter, you can you go and you can go and you go up here to Asia. But no mission here you go, you go and you go and you go on a greater mission. He realized the moment. Can you imagine that your moment can come? And that's why the Bible says, time and chance happen to them all. And if you write, you can write this down. Opportunity sometimes may come only once. Opportunity sometimes may come only once. Can you imagine the person that you've always admired? Maybe someone here wants to be a politician. And say any politician just walks in, say RPG. <laughs> So you can share that with your and you want to be a politician, eh? And you know, I feel this the man, and he's the man that majority of the he's an honest man, eh? And he's an honest man. Some of you have, have been seeing this young guy who has been mimicking him, eh? And as a man like Mike, this guy called Mr. KK. Some of you have seen him online, eh? Uh, Rikichi. And this guy, after the person who coined the name Rikichi. Already, I'm a chukuli on a rikiji, I'm a poor job, actually. Because they made a step out of the passion that they had and out of the, the heart that they had. But I want you to see, what if you have that moment to do, to, to be connected to rikiji or whichever politician, but to your work that you should make step. This guy said, and maybe my time is much gone, but there's something called redeeming time. Somebody say redeeming time. Redeeming One more time, say redeeming time. So you come and talk about the Home but because I'm talking about three, I'm talking about Home four. There's something called redeeming time. Yeah. In other words, oh, we mess up, we go new, but right now you can redeem time. So this guy realized this is the only chance I have to redeem time. And to be connected with this guy on this great mission tells Jesus, Jesus, may you remember me when you go into your kingdom. The bold move. Sometimes, by the way, when your timing comes, you will one of the characteristics that will make you get to where you need to be is the bold move. You will need to tell yourself. I don't know who will support me. I don't know who is with me. But I'm going to stand up. I'm going to go for what I believe. I'm going to do what I believe God is calling me to do. And that's why right now, I know there's all these things. But I dare say, we're in a time where you need more focus in this season and this generation more than ever before. Because there are all these distractions in this season. When you look at something like social media, it's a big distraction. In fact, uh, this thing called working from home, some of you have heard of it. I don't know if some of you have tried it. Maybe assignments, or it's one of the things that people are taking up right now. Working from home, I earn dollars. When you are there, on a pop up, movie alert. <laughs> Grey man, new release. Hey, cause I'm not watching any new gang. Black red notice. Hey, cause I'm hey. Man, they watch it only new. There's so much distraction. Cause the bad one here are online classes. You see, cause from COVID, online classes will answer. So what happens? People do a video, do a video. I love to do a sound. So apparently, people don't listen to a sound. 
Sago, my hands, my wrist, they touch. Kuna, kuna, kumbele, asa unako wa mitu wa. So, dalu mzimu watu wa mecheka, anasikia, ya, 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 alipata uzidi ya mewa ya. Why? Because in this generation, if you're not focused, there are so many what? Distractions. So much happening. People are doing this, eh, what wana fanya hivi. So if you're not careful to tell yourself, wait a minute, I will not do everything because everybody is doing it. Me, I'll follow my cause. I'll do what I believe this what I know God has called me to do. And I will assure you, whenever you put your mind to something, give you your all, it will always give back to you. How many are you? And that's why you need to just tell yourself, what is this thing? And, and you notice one of the things that you're coming back again and again and again, that you're a man on assignment. The biggest thing is knowing what is my assignment. And after knowing what is your assignment, telling yourself, no matter what, I'm going to pursue it. So help me God. But I want you to see this. Because now we've agreed. My timing has come. I need to realize my timing. I need to know when I need to act. This is the season. Because there's a season to wait. Remember, when Jesus was 12, 